The McLaren W1 isn't just a hypercar. It's a statement, a rolling piece of engineering that bends the rulebook so far that regulators are starting to panic. Beneath its sculpted carbon body lies F1, derived technology so aggressive that whispers from inside the industry suggest it won't be legal for long. At the heart of the controversy are its active aero systems and fully adaptive suspension setup, components that constantly analyze road data in real time and physically reconfigure the car mid-corner. In racing, that's standard practice. On public roads, though, it's a different story, and governing bodies in both Europe and the US are already pushing for tighter restrictions. What makes the W1 particularly dangerous to the status quo is its next-generation hybrid boost system. Unlike conventional KRS-style setups, McLaren's tech delivers instantaneous torque spikes that effectively bypass traction control and stability management limits. In testing, the W1's power delivery was so violent that early prototypes shredded tires and overloaded safety systems designed for much tamer outputs. Regulators aren't just worried about safety for drivers. They're also concerned about how much of this tech can be exploited on public roads without crossing into outright illegality. That means, for future hypercars, what the W1 can do today may soon be outlawed. Then there's the active ground effect arrow, something ripped directly from McLaren's F1 playbook. Unlike passive wings, the W1's underbody literally vacuums the car to the tarmac at speed, generating levels of downforce previously reserved for full-blown track monsters. European safety boards are rumored to be reviewing whether road-going cars should even be allowed to generate this much force, citing concerns about unpredictability in emergency maneuvers and the potential for catastrophic failures. If the ban comes through, the W1 could end up being one of the last cars to feature unrestricted F1 grade aero systems. The irony? This looming crackdown only makes the W1 more legendary. By pushing so far past the technological frontier, McLaren has built a car regulators don't quite know how to handle. It's a glimpse into the future, one so wild that governments are already preparing to shut the door behind it. In a few years, Owning a McLaren W1 won't just mean driving one of the most advanced hypercars ever made. It'll mean piloting a piece of forbidden engineering history.